What was the most encouraging takeaway from Saturday? Well, the way they were responded, I, I thought there was some critical things. The goal line stand was was pretty elite by the guys. Um, and then we, we make a decision to go for it on fourth down, which was huge, gave us some momentum. And then came, coming out of halftime, I knew it was going to be a critical series. We were out first because they deferred. And then our kids, uh, Micah and uh, Juliano, did a great job, got the ball out. And then it kind of snowballed from there. And I, you know, we started making plays, and the guys that we expect to make plays, you know, showed up big and had a lot of momentum going to third and fourth quarter. The turnovers were, were critical, but there was a lot of three and outs in there too, which gave the ball back to our offense, and they got into a little bit of a rhythm, and then the score kind of got out of hand. You had that seven drive stretch where you held them to net zero yards. Were there any adjustments after that third well, drive? I think we just or? settled down a little bit. I mean, the, and I, like I said beforehand, the system's about players. I think any any coordinator will tell you that. There's no magical call. It's you're really good players stepping up and making some you know really good plays. Like Drake is an example, but that goes back to the back end because he's been really really close. And you know the last two games and just the ball has been thrown before he could get there. And he finally we finally covered in the back end long enough for him to get to the QB and those turn out to be critical plays. So it's all about the players. The players stepped up and the, and the guys that can make plays that have done it consistently in practice did it again. You talked about Drake Jackson, that yeah. big interception. How impactful is he for this team? The, the strip sack was, uh, you know, critical just because for his own, I think, uh, you know, he, he expects to do a lot. You know, and he's so close to it, but to finally finish one, and and, and it was a, a, a really good play that got turned into a great play. That's what I liked about it, because a lot of guys would have just gone through the back of somebody and taken the safety, but he, he went for the football, and unfortunately, Tully, I, you know, he was rewarded because he's going hard, too. So those plays just help confidence, because sometimes you get in a little bit of a rut, and it's not his fault. It's just the ball's been coming out faster than he can get to the QB. But now he's got an opportunity to, you know, to, to continue on with that. And we expected that in the beginning of the year, but it's nice to see him get rewarded. He, he worked his tail off last week. His, you know, his GPS numbers were as high as we've seen, and, and he was rewarded for it. You were going obviously with extra DBs last week. Yeah. When you're more in your base, you know, how much has Kalen Bullock earned the role for you? Oh, he has. I mean, he's part of the crew now. Now it comes into is keep an eye on the guys in the back end, but we have to continually roll him. He's too dynamic. He's got such range, and you see the play he made on the sidelines. We saw that all fall camp, you know, and just to see how natural he is. He plays beyond his, his age right now, so he's going to continue to play. And even our sub package and third down stuff, because of his range, you're going to see him a lot. Would he roll in multiple spots, or is he really fixed at one spot for no, you? No, he can roll in multiple spots. He's a really sharp guy. But, you know, the more space, the better off he is. Can you break down the Oregon State run game? Kind of well, it's, uh, they do a great job with their zone game. They're, they're well, well coached. Uh, they create extra gaps all over the place. And it, it's it's really nice. And then the compliment they have it off is their play action pass. They play, play action pass, and they'll go deep, they'll throw the ball. So, uh, you know, it's different. It's different from our standpoint of what we're kind of, we see every day. So, uh, been working at it like crazy right now. And then with a running quarterback, yeah. what's the extra? Well, it's, for you guys? it's, it's, from our standpoint, it's just making sure when we rush them that we contain them. And he's he's good, man. He's a tough kid. That's what I like about him. You see him like if a, you know there was a turnover, I guess uh, one, I think it was Utah, and he, he you know a lot of QBs just sit there and kind of try to stay out the way. He runs right at the guy and tries to tackle him. So that, that's those are the guys that are dangerous. The guys that have the arm that can run, but also you know have the mentality too. And he's a really really good player. Hopeful about yeah, yeah, I am. So he's, uh, you know, out here practicing, and we feel good. Cool, cool. Yeah, right. good. Yep. Thanks.